Hi, my name is Dara Mulligan and I'm an Applications Engineer here at Maxim Integrated. Today I'm going to demonstrate using a serializer-deserializer pair to transfer I2C control data over coax to communicate with peripherals commonly found in vehicles today. In serializer-deserializer links, or CERDES as they are called, parallel data is serialized and transferred over a coax or STP cable at a high data rate to the deserializer and reformatted into a parallel bus output. In our coax link, two channels coexist, video and control channel. This video will focus on data transfer over the control channel. Typically, this channel is used to access and change registers of the CERTES easily and independently of video. We can also use it to communicate with peripherals such as LiDAR and LCD touchscreen controls using commands that the CERTES can ignore. For this example, we'll use the MAX 44000 PMB1 ambient light sensor and the MAX 32625 embed microcontroller board. Here is our system overview. The MAX 44000 PMB1 ALS sensor will act as our peripheral device on our serializer side and transfer ADC data via I2C up to 400 kilobits per second. This data will transfer over the serial link to our deserializer and be read by our MAX 32625 embed microcontroller. Our CERTES pair will be the MAX 9291 and 9276A EV kits. The MAX 9276A is connected via USB to our laptop and the EV kit software. The MAX 9291 is connected via the coax serial link and powered by a 5 volt supply. Before we start we need to configure our CERTES jumpers for I2C. The jumper configurations can be found in the EV kit datasheets if any jumpers were moved around previously. Next we'll insert our HDMI connector to the MAX 9291 which will provide our pixel clock to enable our serial communications. With all our boards powered up, let's see if our I2C line is transferring our data. The LEDs in the MAX 32625 will light as I bring my hand closer to the ALS and block the light. If UART is your preferred control method, we can change the jumpers on our EV kits to change the control channel mode. With UART enabled, we also need to set the device to bypass mode by setting the MS jumper high. Bypass mode sets our CERTES to ignore commands on the control line so they do not change any registers and we can communicate with peripherals. And there you have it. The control channel can be used to change register values simply, on the fly, and also communicate with peripherals easily. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you learned something. Stay tuned for more Maxim Surdies videos and I'll see you next time.